In the bowl of your standing mixer, add two egg whites, about a third of a cup. It's not recommended that you use liquid egg whites as these are pasteurized and they don't whip up as well. Whisk until frothy. You definitely want to see little bubbles here. Then you're going to add half a teaspoon of cream of tartar and whip until the whole mixture is frothy. A tablespoon at a time, add half a cup of sugar to your egg whites. Make sure that each is combined fully until adding the next tablespoon. You want to beat this on high for five to seven minutes until all the sugar is combined and your mixture is smooth and glossy. Now you're going to fold in half a teaspoon of vanilla with a spatula. Make sure it's fully combined but not overly mixed. If you don't have a piping bag, use a Ziploc sandwich bag and a large star tip to create your meringues. Once it's filled completely, seal the bag and get ready to pipe your meringues onto parchment paper. Using very light pressure, pipe two inch rounds onto your parchment paper, making sure that none of them touch. Bake these for two to three hours at 200 degrees, then leave them in the oven overnight to make sure they're completely cooled. It's also important to understand that egg whites are very sensitive to humidity and they're sensitive to over whipping and under whipping. Making meringues can be fiddly and a little difficult. Um, I'm going to confess that it took me three tries to get my meringues just right. Um, the first attempt, the temperature was too low, and so not enough moisture in my meringues evaporated, so they ended up gummy. Second attempt, the temperature was a little too high, so while they did dry out nicely, they got a little too brown for presentation purposes. And the third try, lower temperature than the second attempt, um, and they turned out just perfectly.